Uh, that's just a great call, and that's how you get yourself back in a championship battle here. History holds true. Remember, we said for the last three years, a driver who won in Atlanta would also come and win in Texas. It began with Carl Edwards in 05, Tony Stewart 06, Jimmy Johnson in 07, and in 2008, Carl Edwards does it again. Well, he had the dominant car all day, and at the end, they had to pull out some different strategy. Jamie? And Jamie McMurray climbs from the car. What a run. Jamie led some laps there. Take, take us through the end. How close were you guys? Well, I didn't know that anyone was going to be able to make it on fuel. Um, and it was exciting to get to lead at the end. I'm really happy for Crown Royal. We had the Your Name Here 400 on the car. Um, some lucky fan's going to have the race named after him. So, it had a great car. We just, uh, and I told Larry, I was like, you crew chief of the race. I was like, you made the perfect decision, two tires, and then took two tires again at the end. So, I thought, I didn't think those guys would make it. it uh, it's frustrating, but we've run so well the last few weeks. I'm, I'm really excited for our team. It finally paid off for Jamie McMurray. Best finish of the season, Doc. Great effort for Jamie McMurray and Roush Fenway. Greg Biffle, by the way, finishes back in fifth spot. So you got three cars in the top five. Let's listen in. Carl Edwards out of the car. Let's get out of the day. For the second week in a row in victory lane, and this time, no disputing it, big gain on the 48, Carl. It's good to be back here with you, Dave. Um, <laughs> First of all, Office Depot, I cannot thank them enough. Um, Aflac, Ford, you guys, fuel mileage is big. Uh, Ford Fusion gets a great fuel mileage, I can tell you that. Um, Samsung, Valvoline, um, my guys, I, the fans, uh, number one, thanks for, uh, for coming out here. This is awesome, fun place. Um, I don't know what to say. It just, my, my guys did a great job. We, we took off there for a while. We made the, probably the wrong call getting four tires. But Bob came up with a way to uh, win that thing anyway. That was great. Well, describe what it's like knowing you had a really fast race car before, and then he made the call. What did you think when he first told you, okay, we're going to try to make it? He did, 69 he did, yeah, laps first, or so. First, Bob said, we're two tenths of a lap short, so conserve. Then he came back and said, no, nope, we're four laps short. Just go real hard and we'll pit. And then he came back again and said, we'll conserve. So, you know, just by default, I kind of knew that he wasn't too sure about it uh, from that. And, um, Really glad it worked out. Just uh, unreal. Just uh, great. It was a great day. The, the fans are awesome. My guys are awesome. And we're closing ground on Jimmy. That's cool. That's right. This time, I can tell you, he finished 15th. You gained 77 points. That's good, Dave. I appreciate it. Dave called me this week and apologized for uh, raining on my parade last week. You're a good man, Dave. At Rain Gatorade here in the, or sorry, Vitamin Water here in Victory Lane, they're very happy down here for Carl Edwards, two in a row. Shannon? Dave, down here with your points leader, Jimmy Johnson, as you just heard, 15th place finish. Can you describe your day today, Jimmy? Not the day we wanted. Um, you know, when it, once we got through the second or third run, we got the car back uh, where it was competitive and we could run in the top five, top ten on speeds, but just couldn't get to that uh, first car one lap down. And with the very few cautions that we had, we were just kind of in a position uh, riding through the second half of the race, just just riding where, where we were. So, uh, you know, frustrating. We thought we were going to be better than that. Um, we just we were off at the start of the race and got down a lap. And then with the lack of cautions, we just couldn't get back on the lead lap. But um, you know, this still is far from over. I've been saying it all along. Um, we've got to fight hard and continue to fight hard. And we're going to a great track for us next week and uh, see what we can do then. How challenging has it been the past two weeks coming from all the way back to, to make something good out, out of what could have been something really bad? Yeah, that's what this team's really good at. Um, and in racing, you have to expect anything and everything. And we, we had that last week, and, and it came back to us, and we were able to get a second. This week, we can only salvage 15th, but um, you know, that's racing stuff happens, and, and you just have to deal with it week to week, and two more to go. And it certainly isn't over. Jimmy Johnson's still your points leader, 106 over the second place driver. And after what happened here in the spring with Jeff Gordon, this got this has to feel like a win for you. It sure does. Uh, what a crazy day for this DuPont Nick Red Chevrolet. Uh, real proud of Steve Letard and all the guys on this team for, for not giving up. We struggled. You know, we were good out, uh, when we were out front at the beginning and fell back to fifth, and, and we, we just kept trying to free it up through the middle. And one time I got too loose, lost all the track position, lost the lap, had to fight our way back to get on the lead lap. So I give them a lot of credit for being patient, you know, with everything all day. And Steve Letard for making that great call to, to uh, come in, not only work on the car, but get as much fuel in it as we could. And and uh, go for it there at the end. In all honesty, how much of a gamble was that call at the end to go for it on fuel? 
Well, you know, the lucky dog actually really worked in our favor because when we got the lucky dog, um, they, they, they uh, closed the pits. So the leaders had already come in and we had to ride around for, for quite a while. And that gave us a few extra laps. And then, and then, you know, when we pitted, we just took our time with it. We were the only car, had to be a tail end anyway. And, uh, and plus I saved la uh, on, on the caution laps, I was turning the engine off. So I, I felt pretty confident that we could make it if we were only one lap short came so close to stealing the victory, Jamie. And Clint Boyer, what a finish for him tonight. Fourth, his best finish in the chase, led 36 laps tonight. And you guys made a gutsy call at the end and got the track position. What does that say about this team at this point in the season, Clint? Yeah, it's go time. I mean, we want to get in the top five. And uh, Gordon, you know, he, he stayed out there. And, uh, you know, we'll run him down. We just uh, want to really finish the year off good with these guys, Gil and all the guys. Had a lot of fun with these guys on Jack Daniel Chevrolet. And uh, we want to finish strong. You guys gained one position in the point six. Now I know the goal is top five. Looking ahead to Phoenix, what can we look forward to from the 07? Yeah, we got to go. I mean, Phoenix is a good track for us. Uh, that's, uh, that's our type of racetrack. So hopefully we can rattle off another top five here and have a good points. Great performance for the 07 tonight. Doc? What an effort by Carl Evers and his whole crew there to be able to narrow it by 77 points, going 103 and a half miles on field. Who'd have thought, huh? Well, they had the dominant <laughs> car. And who would have thought that they would have won it with this kind of brilliant strategy? Yeah, great call. And we got so excited about that. All 12 of our chase guys finished in the top 20, Junior being 20th after that, running out of fuel. But how about Brad Keselowski finishing 19th in his first time in a Sprint Cup car? Pretty impressive by that young man. Great job. You get a grandfather clock at Martinsville here in Texas. You get a cowboy hat and a pair of six shooters and a pretty neat ring there. Eddie Gossage given Carl Leverts, who becomes the first three time winner at Texas Motor Speedway. Well, next week, folks, we head to the Valley of the Sun. Championship leader Jimmy Johnson will be racing for his third straight win at Phoenix. Can he get those points back? It is the ninth stop in the 2008 chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup. Our coverage began Sunday, 3 o'clock Eastern time on ABC, beginning with NASCAR Countdown. What a night in Texas, Alan. Carl Edwards playing the part of Yosemite Sam at Victory Lane, the rootinest, tootinest, baddest man in Texas, at least on this Sunday night. What, what a race. Who would have thought after Carl was so dominant for so much of this race that it would come down to fuel mileage for this 99 team to win. Now it's on to Phoenix. Oh, it is on to Phoenix. I believe he's going to run good there, too, guys. He's got a lot of momentum, and I think he might have really started something tonight with the rest of these teams. Hey, if you're low on fuel, slow way down. You're going to see a lot of teams doing that now. Hey, what did the Kings say in our pre-race show? you got to be lucky, and yeah. you got to be lucky to win a championship. I think they were lucky tonight. Carl ran great all evening long, but they made some calculated decisions and had to have that little four-leaf float the pocket at the end. Now, by perspective, uh, the largest point lead to be overcome with two races to go is 85. Carl is down by 106 with two races to go. This is still Jimmy Johnson's championship to lose. Oh, it's not over at all. I mean, right now, if I was Jimmy Johnson, I'd be nervous because he has one problem out there in Arizona. Man, he can be in big trouble. And then another one of Miami big trouble yet so I'd be nervous 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 right now fire up the old engraving tool and put <laughs> Jimmy Johnson three time heavyweight champ on that trophy even baby. after today absolutely I'm not Ooh. wavering I'm I, dug in I stick by my guns which say it's racing anything <laughs> can happen uh, something early in the race uh, if Carl's fuel would hiccup dry we would be talking a whole different story at the end of this race. Well, one thing you, one yeah. thing you got to admit, guys, that guy right there, he's hot, he's on fire, he's got the momentum. Oh, he's the man. And he is the man. He is the man. So it's on to the Valley of the Sun for the Phoenix race next Sunday, uh, starting with NASCAR countdown at 3 Eastern time. By the way, Jimmy trying for a third straight win at Phoenix and the Texas style victory celebration ongoing. Carl's mom, uh, Carl's team owner, Jack Roush, in the middle of it all. Track promoter Eddie Gossage in the jacket, orchestrating things like the maestro he is. Yes, sir. And how about Jamie McMurray? Yep. Awesome run for Jamie McMurray. Once again, showing that that team is getting much and, better. And what about Kyle Busch? He pulled back into the top 10. Coming up next, America's Funniest Home Videos, except on the West Coast. So Carl Edwards wins in Texas today. It's on to Phoenix as the championship chase continues. Thanks for watching ESPN on ABC. Rising up to see the last man standing. Ran to win, they told me lose is wrong. No, you can't pull me down, cause I'm just too strong. Waited way too long, so quit and eat the plan. When it all falls down, I'll be the last.